Minecraft melons, a nice item that can be farmed. And what's a better decoration for the farm than a big square melon over it? And that's exactly what we are not doing today, since melons in real life don't look like that. Well, some of them do, but most of them don't. So we wanna just leave our old melon farm right here, generating bone meal. And build a new one, producing multiple times more melons and looking over 10 times cooler. Welcome back to the survival series. If you are wondering why we are farming melons today, then there is not really a good answer. It's just another item that can be farmed and we haven't built a huge version of. This melon farm here is what we currently use to get bone meal to the tree farm. This design works really well, but doesn't look the best. The potato and carrot farm design though is looking like a million dollar skyscraper. And hopefully today's project will look even better and more unique than this. First thing we have to choose is the melon farming system. We could use the same flying machine system as the old farm, but we wanna build the melon farm in a more custom shape. So this observer and piston design is what we are going to be using. It's pretty simple, when the melon stem grows, the observer sees that and activates the piston for a moment. Now collecting the items to build the farm. In total we want this farm to have 6000 melon seeds planted. So quick calculation, and that means we need 6000 observers, 6000 pistons, 6000 melon seeds, some redstone, glowstone and glass. And that's pretty much it. First I started up the super smelter to make us some glass. The glass is going to be used as the separation walls between the farm modules. A while ago we also farmed some melons, so we could use that to make the 6000 melon seeds that we need. Then we crafted the pistons, which took us no more than 15 minutes by having a good supply of wood and cobblestone. After grabbing the redstone and glowstone, I heard that the super smelter was done. Got the glass and the only thing remaining are the observers. To craft those we need a ton of nether quartz, but we basically have none right now. So we headed to the gold farm and they escaped there for a bit. Then converted the gold nuggets that we got into gold ingots. And put those ingots in the huge piglin bartering station that we have right here. And boom! This generates all the quartz we need in just an hour and a half. Thank you trader piglins. Now crafting all of this into observers. And we have all the items. Remember the wheat field that we built quite a while ago. Well that area looks pretty cool and the decoration we wanna do would probably fit really well there. So this is the place where we are going to build the farm at. First things first, we gotta dig a pretty big hole, since the farm is going to be half underground and half above the ground. Let's grab our tools and get to work. Thankfully we got some help from the creepers, but when needed, they only break like a couple of blocks. And after two hours, the hole was dug and ready to build into the melon farm. It's really cool to see this big hole at a random spot in the wheat field. Anyway, starting with the build. As usual, at the start it wasn't easy to build and we tried different techniques on how to build and place blocks faster. For example, like these observers and pistons. They have to be placed above the water, so we use Frostwalker boots to generate the temporary ice block and just place it above there. This also works for the pistons and made our build a lot faster and easier. The glowstones in the glass are really important since the melons need light to grow. Enchanté. 
after building for the first 5 hours we almost got to the ground level, which is the halfway point. I honestly didn't think this would take so long, but here we are, again with another time consuming farm we don't actually need, but still want. Let's continue with the melon farm build now. After almost exactly 10 hours, this is what we have. The main farm is now ready and actually already working as you can see. Some melons are dropping down, but they have nowhere to go. So let's build something that we can use to collect all of these. Starting with adding water between all the modules. This is where the melons will drop to and they will all just flow towards one collection place. And at the collection place we are gonna build a shulker box filler. And not just one but 13 shulker box fillers to handle all the melons that this farm will produce. To make things even better. I'm making separate room where I can input empty shulker boxes and take out the fully filled ones with melons. But I will show you how this thing works after we do the outside decoration. Talking about outside decoration, we will need about 4000 green and 4000 lime concrete to do that. Getting our concrete duper back up and running to get those. And of course making the concrete powder into real concrete. So you guys know how the minecraft melon is a square right? And this is also something many people build as a huge decoration. But in real life the melon looks more of a round or an oval shaped. And that is the shape we wanna build. Starting from the bottom and making our way up. This is a project that Robin wanted to do just by himself. Even though we planned everything beforehand, then following the exact shape and colors is really hard. It takes a lot of time and patience to get everything placed correctly. If we would have built the whole farm on the ground, the melon decoration covering it would be just too big. And that's why half of the farm is underground. The total height for the decoration is going to be around 45 blocks. And after 5 hours, this melon here is finally ready. The round melon. I think it came out just perfect sitting on a wheat field like it has just grown here. I think choosing to build it here was definitely a great choice. But let's go and look at how much does the melon farm produce. So next to the melon we have the secret entrance that leads down to the collection area. This farm here produces us 107,000 melon slices per hour. Which is just crazy. That means we will have 62 shulker boxes full of melons adding here every single hour. And to fill all of these chests with shulker boxes it will take 30 hours. On the other side you can put in the empty shulker boxes that automatically go into the system. And if you wanna come up here you can see how all the melons are flowing in. Looks really cool. Also we left some space so we can fly up and be inside of the melon. Here you can see the whole thing and it looks really cool. But now as we have unlimited melons and melon blocks, what should we do with these? Let us know in the comments below and we'll do the best idea suggested. Thanks for watching, until the next time. See ya, bye.